Okay, so the uh, Portland approach uh, uh, 317 Victor Alpha VFR request. Yep, RV 317 Victor Alpha VFR request. Yep. And then when it come back, it's going to be uh, RV 12 317 Victor Alpha. We'd like to. 317 Victor Alpha is an RV, RV 12. Right. 2,000 feet, wherever we are. Yeah. Um, at 2,000 feet west of. So we go, I guess I should uh, do the, the downtown tour, northbound. Over the river, yep. River. Okay. Portland approach, RV 317 Victor Alpha, VFR request. 317 Victor Alpha, pro good. Right, RV 12, 317 Victor Alpha at 2,000 feet, 3 miles west of Lake Oswego. I'd like to do the uh, downtown tour over the river, northbound. RV 7 Victor Alpha, your radar contact, proceed as requested. Portland altimeter 3009 and squawk 0145. 0145, 7 Victor Alpha. 0145, 7 Victor Alpha. Okay, good. Cool. And he said radar contact just because he, he saw us. Yep. That's cool. what radar contact means. Yeah. So if you lost your engine right now, where are you going? Probably going to get wet. If I was lucky, I'd make it to, to some of the docks on the other side. Maybe your best option, but, uh, you know, there's some kind of longer, clear... You know somebody landed down there uh, about four years ago. Yeah, like, you know, along the train. Back there, there's some long clear yeah. areas. You just got to be careful. There's some towers, but... Yeah, it was coming up that hill where they put their plane. There's wider stuff out to the left also. So what you can do now, you can say, approach to a Civic Alpha request. Look on that. Civic Alpha, go ahead. And you say, we'd like to continue northbound with flight following to say, list at 3,500. Okay. Approach through and Civic Alpha request. With Civic Alpha, good. I'd like to continue north with flight following to Shahalis at 3,500 feet. So, Civic Alpha, roger. Continue to uh, uh, follow the river and stand by. Follow the river, stand by, right? Uh, 7 Victor Alpha, reset transponder, squawk 4716. Squawk 4716, we'll follow the river uh, through 7 Victor Alpha. Uh, 7 Victor Alpha, I do have a um, departure rolling on Portland right now, turn left hitting a 290. Turn left 290, through 7 Victor Alpha. RV 7 Victor Alpha, traffic 4 to 5 o'clock just off of Portland, uh, FedEx, heavy MV 11, they're already out of 2000 west now. Alright, yeah, so we've got traffic in sight. We've got traffic in sight, through 7 Victor Alpha. We said Victor Alpha, Roger, just continue on that heading, and once they're a little above you, at least more than a thousand feet, I'll let you turn northbound for the river. Hey, Roger. Roger. November 7, Victor Alpha, turn right, hitting a 330. Turning right, 330, 7 Victor Alpha. Number 7, Victor Alpha, thanks for your help. Resume on navigation. Thanks for your help, 7 Victor Alpha. Number 7, Victor Alpha, contact Portland Approach on 124.35, 2435. No, I don't say anything to him. It's 12435. Well, I have a TDS 3, 8, 1, November, Echo, 6,900, 1, November, Echo. 12435. RV 7, Victor Alpha, contact Portland Approach, 124.35. 124.35, 7, Victor Alpha. RV 317, Victor Alpha, at 3,400. RV 317, Victor Alpha, Portland Approach, Roger, Portland Altimeter 3010. 7, Victor Alpha, 312. 7 Victor Alpha 3412, 3010. 7 Victor Alpha, verifying the altimeter at 3010. 3010, thank you. 7 Victor Alpha. When you check in, you say who you're talking to again, so Portland. Okay. 7 Victor Alpha 3400 VFR. Always VFR. Yeah. Okay, so how are you navigating right now? What are you, uh, what are you going uh, off of? Well, it's IFR. I follow rivers. Okay. Um, no, I, I had myself on the on the far side of the river, and, and so I was uh, going to get over to that, and then uh, I can get my timing once I get to Scapoose. Well, where are you right now? I am about here. Yeah. And I think the difference there is just my timing, because I even have my estimated ground speed. I'd be doing 7 Victor Alpha, contact Seattle Center 124.2. 124.2, thank you, 7 Victor Alpha. Seattle Center, RV 317 Victor Alpha, VFR at uh, 3000 over the Woodland. RV 317 Victor Alpha, Seattle Center, the Kelso altimeter, 3011, more than one hour old. 3011, 3011, thank you, 7 Victor Alpha. Just say your altitude, 3100. Okay. Yeah. Now where you are. Okay. My, my initial thought is to go in on... on uh, three four, which is basically straight in, but my uh, 
and it has a, a left hand pattern, so back around this way, so I'll, I'll swing out to the west of it. So do you think you can get the weather yet? I could, but I need to wait and cancel flight following. I was going to ask you about that when I started my descent here. Don't necessarily need to do that. What could you do? Could call and cancel it, or switch over anyway. I need to cancel. You can do a couple things. You can either say you can, if you had to, you could tell oh. them Seattle, set a big job, and you switch over to get the weather real quick, and they'll say, "All right, just report back." Or in this case, nothing's going on. If you hit the frequency button. I'll hit the frequency, hit it, like you're going to change it, and then hit monitor. Oh, let's stay on her, okay. 6,500, that's 8,500. I don't know, hold on a second, I don't know if that was for us, it kind of sounded like it. RB317, Victor Alpha, radar service terminated. Squad VFR, change to advisor frequency approved. The squad VFR said Victor Alpha, thanks. Squad VFR said Victor Alpha, thanks. Eight. Oh, shoot. I... Oh. Oh. Okay, there. Is that... no. What the heck is going on? Alright, squad VFR. Have the monitor thing on. Oh, um, transfer to exit. Hold remote. I think you held this too long. I Hold remote. No. Oh, um, I'll aviate while you're doing that. Zero. Eight inches of mercury. There. Okay, we got it now. Chehala, Centralia Airport. Automated weather observation. Zero. Two. Two. Did one. You push the hell down when you talked, right? Two. Yes. Eight. That's what zero. it was. At five knots. Visibility more than one zero. Sky condition scattered at four thousand. Okay, real quick. They usually just say, fuck VFR, we're going to change through, set big drop. Okay. Um, so. It's because I was holding it to, to flip it instead of holding it to talk. Yep. So hey, look, Centralia down. Airport. Automated weather observation. Chehalis traffic, RV317 Victor Alpha, six miles south of the field, inbound for landing. Chehalis traffic. Inbound for what? I said inbound for landing. Yeah, uh, no, but, but yeah, you want to know now, right? I mean, in that yeah. first call, you know, inbound for 3 4. That way they know right from the start what runway you're planning to use. Okay. So if there's anybody else who's there who's maybe using the other runway, you yeah. can change plans earlier than later, right? Okay, so I'm going to call at 4 and say I'm southwest of the field, inbound, uh, landing 3-4. Is that the call you make when you're the second call? Did you watch my video, man? I did. Well, normally I do 10-5-2, <laughs> but I, I didn't want to do 6-5, so I thought I'd do 6-4. Oh, no, that's fine, but what are you supposed okay. to say on the second call? We say where we are, who we are, where we are, and how we're going to enter the pattern. Right, our intent okay. to enter the pattern. So, yeah. Planning to enter a 45 left downwind, 3 4. Yeah. Shahila's traffic, 317 Victor Alpha, four miles southwest of the field. Inbound to land on 3 4. We'll make, make a uh, 45 onto the left downwind. 
Chehalis traffic. Chehalis traffic, 3 wind 7 Victor Alpha, entering left downwind, or left 45 to, to left downwind, 3 4, Chehalis. Alongside it here, I'm a little bit low. Chehalis traffic, RV 3 wind 7 Victor Alpha, turning left base, 3 4, Chehalis. Chehalis traffic, 3 wind 7 Victor Alpha, final, 3 4, Chehalis. Okay, it winds off my side to the left. Hi. Lines over there. Yeah, I didn't want to overcorrect it there. So why uh, why are we off center line? When I when I kind of rounded out, I was way too high and I kind of moved around. But I don't think it was wind. I think it was just me. Well, nope, wind's blowing that way. So you did a nice job of correcting the nose to be in line with the direction of travel, right? But you didn't do anything with the aileron uh, to keep you over. So you put in right rudder and just. Yeah. Flew right over to the right. That's why you got to put it in the left yeah. aileron with the right rudder. Stay where you are. You set that left wheel down first, then the right, then the nose.